Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? <clears throat> Good morning, good morning. I do find old Femi. Thank you for asking. Good morning, good morning. I salute everybody. Oh, Kram Suji, what's up, man? Tolani, how are you? I'm sorry. <clears throat> if I didn't get to pronounce or call your name, please, I'm really sorry, but I welcome everybody. I welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. welcome you and welcome thank you very much from canada thank you very much all right let's get on the let's get on this show today real quick without wasting time all right without wasting time hmm. well i i believe that you guys uh you saw that video um that i posted like about maybe like 30 minutes ago like about um, 30 minutes ago. And I want us to discuss this. I want us to discuss it. Pastor Hugo need to give us the secret of freshness. Oh, you want to see it? Let me show you. Send me the location and I'll be right there. Who you have? Baba Kram Suji. Kram Bondis. What's up, my brother, Pastor Walistic Wale? Ah, Pastor Zikami Moshu Enezi. <laughs> All right. That is, that is the secret of the freshness, you see. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody saw me at the store recently. It was like, man, you made a rubu. You made a rubu. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The secret is the secret of this stuff is that my my mom Becky Becky is taking care of me. Okay, taking care of me. I get you. Ah, the mouth of here. We can't be saying all that. So let's get to the business real quick. Uh, you guys have seen the video I posted this uh, morning, like about thirty minutes ago, and um, and I want us to discuss it. I need us to discuss this, and um, I will open, I will open my telephone line, so you guys will be able to call in to resp I mean to react to it. I'm gonna turn my phone on so that we can react to it. Inside of that video, you there are two people there: the husband and the wife and their little daughter. All right, and what's happening is this. This man was saying something about, if I am in Nigeria, will you ask me this? That's the part I actually, I hate that part. And that's, this is the reason why men don't like me. African men don't like me because of this. African men don't like me because of this. And I'm sorry. You may not like me now, but you like me later. You don't have to like me right now. You're going to like me later. All right? If, if I'm in Nigeria, will you ask me this? You know what we have done? We have made Nigeria to look like a dungeon. We, look, we make Nigeria to look like hell. We make Nigeria to look like a, 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 a place where we do slavery. If African men are still seeing this same thing, and saying, if I'm in Nigeria, will you, will you ask me this? It means that in Nigeria, we are lawless. In Nigeria, we don't have brain. In Nigeria, we are so backward that it's so shocking. How Nigerian men, some Nigerian men, let me just say, say some, because I know the people that are very sensitive. If you say Nigerian men right now, they go, all right, let me just use the word some Nigerian men. 
Like as if I'm not a man too. Like as if I'm not a man. Like Kran Brondis is not a man. Like Kran Suji is not a man. So when I say Nigerian men, I'm not talking about all of you. Some people are just so sensitive that you say Nigerian men. Where you say that? What is all this? Is all this? Generalization. You're generalizing. They will use all manners of stupid English just because they are guilty. When a man is guilty, when they say Nigerian men, you will fly up. But when you are not guilty, you will sit down cooler like I'm sitting cooler. Like if they say Nigerians are four one nine, me I know they shake. I never say, oh, it's not all Nigerians. We are my confidence, myself, myself, my self confidence is actually off the roof. My my ego, my ego is knocked all the way down. I, I don't care. Say it all you like it. I'll sit down there. I'll be laughing. I'm not going to say, who is not all of us? Who is not? But when you have inferiority complex and low self-esteem, you, you always want people to remove you from anything they say. That's your problem. That's your problem, not mine. Go and build yourself. Go and build yourself. If you are guilty, then you are guilty. If you are not guilty, you shut up. You enjoy the show. But when you are guilty, that's why you say, oh, you're generalizing. Oh, this generalization. Oh, this way will speak all manners of English that we don't even understand. We don't even understand. Go and sit down somewhere. Those people that say not all of us, it's not. Go sit somewhere. We are talking real here. All right. No, it's a shame. It's a big shame. I've been talking about this for a long time. Is it this issue of uh, adaptation? Is killing a lot of African men overseas? Adaptation. You cannot be bringing your bully nonsense. You cannot be bringing your lazy bastard attitude from Africa and think that it's going to work here. It's not going to work. No, it's not. The guy is busy going to the gym, pumping his muscle to look good. And he's leaving his responsibility at home undone. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me take it easy. Let me take it easy. You see... When a man, when you are missing your responsibility, when you're missing it, you can only do what you do or what you're doing just for a time. You can do it just for a minute. Two years, three years. Yes. The woman will take your nonsense. The woman will take your nonsense for five, six years. A day will come. That woman will get to that point they call elastic limit. And she will break. And she will break. And by the time she breaks, she's going to turn around. That woman is saying, pack your load and get out. For a woman to say, pack your load and get out, ah, she, she, she is where she is not supposed, was not supposed to be. You have pushed that woman to that point. Where she's not supposed to be. And she crossed it. And she crossed it. And now she crossed it. There's no coming back. There's no coming back. Alright? So, women get to a point where they break like that. They don't take nonsense anymore. We always say, oh, we, you know, the church always say, oh, divorce is not biblical. Divorce is not biblical. A lot of time, we use that stuff to tie women down for men to do nonsense. A man supposed to be a provider, but not the sole provider. You provide with your wife. So if your wife is providing and you are providing, it means that boiling of rice, it means like cooking of soup, it means like cleaning the bathroom, it means like folding the clothes, is our responsibility too. Because your wife is providing, going to work and taking care of children, cooking and all that, and then you go and be pumping more so you can look good. And then you gallivant all around the town. Oh, the marry, man. Marriage, man. The marriage will be over. Well, over. And when the marriage is about to be over and your wife is saying, I'm no longer interested, that's when you start running after Pastor Shola. Oh, the do Shola. The do Shola. The do Shola. The do cannot hold it down. You have messed up big time. Now we are telling you right now. It's here. Nyama, nyama, yo, ni bono. Mozu lo mama pump kiri ma pump mozu pumpi mozu yeah my chest my chest we're meeting at the gym we're meeting at the gym you have been meeting don't pump mozu kiri kilo dancing kilo dancing 
You are pumping muscle for the girls outside, not for your wife. Eh, hey, I know you guys. But muscle don't pump. It's not for yourself. You're pumping muscle for the girls. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love your muscle. Can I touch it? Oh yeah, touch it. I love this muscle. Can I touch your taste? Touch it. It's not for the wife in the house. It is for the CC on the street. That's why you're pumping muscle. Oh yeah. And that's the stuff. Now you are no longer going to get mad. Woman, lie cool, lie. You go to you're gonna hate me or you will hate me today unless, unless I change my mind. You will hate me today. If I voice out what is in my heart, you will hate me. All right, why lie cool league in it? Oh my bali low way, no man do oh my god call away. They will take your house, take your car, take your they, they, you will pay time support until you die. Oh yeah, 18 years on his children or his kid. All right, they will take all your money. Oh my god, they will call they will collect the school fees from you. Oh my every Every day, no mama had a school bag. Every day, no mama had a school shoe. Every day, no mama for any list to rewake. You be living inside a one room apartment. You want, you want money, li or lot no day didn't ring. Or money, li or lot no. Or money, li or no. You you that they open the gate for in Nigeria. Woman she get if only a year in Nigeria. Oh, what if I say one of the security guard? Oh, Jyoti, oh Jyoti. Oh, 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 you use your own hand to ruin your own life. You are, you are doing make believe life on social media. Fine boy, no engine. Fine boy, nothing. Oh, what, what woman say, Pastor? Uh, fine boy, da. Mono re o roboto signal and he's a tall and slim very tweet tall. Say the banana na I pencil. I said, which banana? I said, the banana when you get and I pencil when you are by door. They all this mozu mozu thing. I say, run me mozu. They are only using mozu to bamboozle us. They don't get the real banana. Banana no day. That's why they will let you pop mozu. Let them let them see the chest big and the hand big. Banana no day. They are banana less people. Like pencil. Oh yeah. They are just using mozu to bamboozle you. Get, get out of here. If you don't want to listen, get out of here. Yeah, you know you, you see what I'm saying? All right? And, and the issue is that Adarani Lema Dan Tani one, they will be good to outsiders, they can't be good in the house. How do you want to keep married together? How do you want to keep married together when you know they listen? Only listen. Is the woman is the woman asking for too much? No, she's not. She's not asking for too much. The two of you are work, both working. So why is it that she's not asking you to wash the plate and wash the bathroom? Is that a problem to you? Is that a, is that should be a problem to you? you your, your brain is not coordinating that you guys are both making money. And you know, funny thing that you don't convince you don't know. You will think you have power. I saw him was going to pack his great clothes and stuff. When he see what I said, oh, now really. I said you oh bad guy so complain lo mabukro le. Only one bag of clothes, and then you say, "Why well, there? You will suffer. You will suffer." She no go suffer. The government will give her a house. She no go suffer. Government will give her a. They give her supply, money every month for her children. She no go suffer. Now you go suffer. Where did they go? Now you go suffer. So the people must do long build. They long build must be your go go go. Also, what lane now? Why would that be? Why would that be? Why would that be? Baba Rubo, when all your money, when they want the most, when the money fair, I mean the most, when they fall, you go see, you gonna see. She not go so far. I will suffer you. I will sleep with you. Don't sleep with her. Do you do where I'm there? I will do bang bang. I want to be bang bang. Baba Rito, to my oh no, he me ma tafu ya where I will sell it to her. Money won't be by where I want to have one. <laughs> I'm telling you, you say you will suffer, you will suffer, you suffer for where? The government will take care of her. Now you go suffer. We they tell you right now, oh flex you are flexing mozu right now. We're telling you, cool down, cool down. No, you know they cool down. They flex mozu like anyhow. Alright, your eyes go clear. Bembe also compare low low one. It's only one bembe that you have. Those only one bag of clothes. That's all you have. And you pack it and go. You see all the girls that are actually. All the girls are actually popping all around you. I say, let me touch my muscle. Can I touch 
blessing. Can it don't bat in the woman? They will leave you. When you don't get money again, they go leave you. Or you see, they are running after you because you are a married man. They believe you are a responsible person. The moment you walk away, they see you to be Gigolo, Mr. Gigolo, get out of here. That's what they will say. Why didn't you read the menu, Baba Bopa? And that's it. There is oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You see this whole stuff that we do here? You know, when you are living in Africa, when you are living in Africa, okay, leave Africa behind. Leave Africa behind. When you are living in Africa, you leave Africa behind. And let me share this with you guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. There are so many Nigerian men who are in prison right at this moment. So many. Why are they in prison? Because the ego that we pumped in Africa, we didn't let it go. We brought it into the U.S., into Canada, into wherever. All right? And over here, in Canada, in America, in England, it's a land of law. This is a place where you're supposed to talk to yourself. That, Alright? You see that man was saying, he, if I, he, have you been in Nigeria? Will you ask me this? He, she will not ask you because Nigeria is a lawless country. Or maybe they have laws, but they are not just implementing the laws. Why do you think that the government of this place made the law? You see, women didn't make the law. I said it to you guys the other day. It wasn't women that actually made that law. That when something happened in the house and the police is called, that they will first of all kick the man out. Women didn't make that law. The government made it. They were all men. They were men in the place where they were doing this thing. Where they're doing this thing. All right? So the issue here is that you as a man supposed to talk to yourself. I'm in a foreign land. You need to obey the law of the land. Okay? What is the law of the land is that the law, apart from the Bible, is making me to understand that I am a man, a husband, a provider, a protector, a lover, that whoever it is that I'm with, I must to respect them. I have to respect them. If I'm hungry, I'll take my anger to the boxing school or the boxing gym. I'm going to box the box. I box. I'm going to box the sandbag. Go and box the sandbag and knock all your anger out. I'm going to take my anger to the street and walk all around. I'm going to take my anger to the park and walk all around. I'm going to take my anger to the street and drive all around. And then by the time I'm done, I'm going to come back and sit down like a regular, mature, you know, adult. And sit down with the woman and talk to her respectfully. Okay? And that is a man who now understands how to live in the Western world. How to live in the Western world. Alright? A lot of men, they have they decided not to listen. They are in jail. Rotting in jail. Oh, I'm leaving. You know, you leaving the woman doesn't make that woman to die. Don't make that woman to die. Alright? Walking away and getting divorced is not going to... It's not going to break that woman. It's not. I, I think you need to go back to history. And go and check it out. Men, women that... That went that, that signed the divorce papers compared to men who signed it. You need to go and look at the history and see the way it works before you actually start jumping around thinking that you are a superman because you are not. 
No matter how you see yourself, you are making $600,000 a year, $1 million a year, you are still not a superman. Don't let it, don't let it cross your mind. Don't, don't let it pump into your head. Look at the, look at the assets bank guy. Go and look at the house that guy just completed in Lagos for his retirement. He's not going to live there. No. Himself and his money and his son and his wife. They're gone. They're gone. Kilo beto we. Kini la la koko fefe. What is the stuff that is making you to feel like you're a superman? You are not. Lo cool down. Owo si wolo ni. Owo stupid money wolo make. A mighty, a mighty specialist. I'm a rito. I'm a, I'm a pharmacist. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gynecologist. I'm a doctor. I mean, this guy, get out of here. Go, go, get out of here. No, I'm not going to be a ghost. I'm not going to be a ghost. I'm not going to be a ghost. Now, when you went to buy a jam on the top, by the time you fall to the ground and everybody's not looking you on the ground, you'll not be saying, I made a mistake. Which stupid mistake are you making? We're talking to you right now. You're not listening. The stupid ego that you brought from Africa is running your stupid mouth. Running your stupid brain. I already told my business me that you want more than you want here. What 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 bunch here? What the bunch? What the bunch has in it for disease? You are very smart. Very smarty. Smarty, you want here? I'm telling you, go sit down somewhere. Go bend where? Go bend where? That crazy big one. Go 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 jump. Go jump. Look bent on me. Everything is vanity. But but what's here? But I just bought an eight hundred thousand dollar house. And so what? How you call it? Be I'm a I'm a new I'm a I'm a thirty two I'm a twenty three in a big house one a one million dollar house. You you bought eight hundred thousand dollar house and this we no go rest. We go write eight hundred thousand dollar house. I pay the bills in this one. So what? Are you are the only one paying bills? Are you only one paying bills in this house? What nonsense? Kilo beto me. You know no sangro. How much are you paying? How much exactly are you paying in the in the bill that total? Kapaso ke biapa ye. Kapaso ke biapa ye. Be go oni kololo. You are the only one with money. Which stupid money are you having? Which stupid money are you having? Will, will, will you be talking to me like that if I were in Nigeria? Of course, I'll talk to you like that. I'm educated. I'm exposed. I don't need marriage. That's what women are supposed to be saying. I don't need marriage to succeed. I don't need marriage to, 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 to exist in life. I don't need it. Mar mar marriage is not an achievement. Let me tell it to you. Marriage is not an achievement. Go sit somewhere. You, 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 you think you think you think you have done me a favor by marrying me, and that's what is in their head. When they marry you, they believe they have done you a favor. They believe they have done you a favor. You have not done me no favor. We are both here based on agreement. Well, I won't be no one that's why they will be shouting all around of my power down when they kill you and then you bury you. Stupid women. Is there a lot of stupid women in the society? And then they'll be there until they die. Stupid women. They'll be shouting my husband, my husband. You better wake up now. This is 2024. 2020. Let me tell you, let me let me throw this out real quick. So, oh my get it into a house. And when you marry more, people are not marrying a girl. All right, the kind of marriage they do right now is that you live in your house, I live in mine. All right, if you live in your house, I live in mine. All right, you see, if we mistakenly got each other pregnant, okay, I'll take care of the bills, but I don't want you under my roof. I come to you when I need you, you come to me when you need me. Are you going to be faithful? I cannot promise. Are you going to be faithful too? I cannot promise. And that's it. And that's the way, and that's the way they're living right now. That's the way they're living right now. If you don't know, and you, who fed parents in your court, or got to or got to the law, the pet, that's gone on this one. You want to kill yourself. You want, you want to kill yourself. Any part. You see that woman in the video? That woman, I love that woman big time. I love that woman big time. Oh, sorrows, okay. Told the husband, what is wrong with you? Pack your load and get out. You can't boil rice. Ordinary rice, oh, they say. Something you can go and watch on YouTube, oh, they say rice. You can't make sandwich for the kids. You can't make nothing. 
And you are here, you are flexing muscle around. You are being, say, say, I'm, I, 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 I'm kidding, you are, you are Mr. Money. Lola, they Mr. Money, Jaku Jaku Osi. Italazi Mani, we only see them outside spending money on musicians. That's where we see them. I'm a Kogo, I'm a Koro, I'm a Sagwa, I'm a Jaku Jaku Osi. You know, but you are here, what? I'm a Kosako, I'm a When you are a good man, everything you put on will look good on you. When you are a bad person, you look like a. I don't understand what I should say. I don't understand. I don't understand. You see, the summary of this whole stuff is this. Let me put my telephone so that people will call in. No, no, no don't let me. Le if, you, if you want to come on the show too, you can make a request. I'll add you. I'll add you on the tour. If you if you are not shy, if you are not a shy person, you can make a request. I'll bring you here. But if you are a very shy person, you can call that number. I'll pick it up. The summary of everything is this: the moment we get married, the moment we get married, or oh, sorry, before marriage, professional premarital counseling is necessary. My dear, part of me only told if your pastor is saying, oh, let us pray. Oh, let us tell the pastor, I know they pray. I have been praying. This time around, we will test a professional ball. All right. We will test a professional ball. I want professional counselor to talk to both of us. All right. Sorry, Mr. Pastor. I know, but please, I need professional counseling. That's all I want. And nothing but that. Okay? Now, guys, listen. I, I want you guys to listen carefully. You will understand that it's not like African men are dumb. Oh. They're not dumb. They know exactly what they're doing or long. They know what they're doing. And I need you to go and check history. You're supposed to ask yourself a question. Why is it that Nigerian men or African men, when they get married to African women, that's when they behave like this. Hey, Joe, please, I need you to answer the question. Answer this question. Somebody is calling. Let's speak this call. Hello? Hello, um, good afternoon. I'm oh, sorry, good morning. Good everything, my sister. <laughs> so, um, this, I just want to narrate my story. Eh? Don't narrate your story, oh. I, we just want contribution. We don't want too long story, oh. Men should know themselves first. Uh -huh. Love, love themselves. Yeah. Like before, um, any man. In case if any man tries to like put them down, mm -hmm. you can stand your ground. So personally, mm -hmm. like you know, like that is the only way you can. Even if the man is trying to tell you, well, I can't cook in the house, but like mm -hmm. you tell them, I'm not married to you to be your slave. I'm not married to you, you know, to you know. Take care of your kids and mm -hmm. just all of those things. You also need to help. You're working. Mm -hmm. Your life, uh, to me, I don't support women that just put a life on, uh, like career on mm -hmm. hold because of marriage. Mm -hmm. Because God forbid anything bad happen, you know, just just going to be your own. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. is my own contribution. People should know themselves first. Know yourself first. Uh huh. And there's something they call self love. You self love. Yourself. Uh huh. Be selfish about it. Like, uh huh. It's, there's nobody. Eba mi like mama say boy uba. They don't have nothing. So that's where the aspect of self love comes in. You uh -huh. yourself, you develop yourself. Thank you. you know, don't stay at the point. So Thank you. That's all I have to say. God bless you, my sister. I really love you, man. God bless you. <laughs> hello. Hello. Yes, hello. How are you? I am good, man. Good evening. Good evening from Nigeria. Uh huh. Okay, I just wanted to contribute to what the lady said. Yeah. I think women should have self esteem. Okay. okay? When a woman does not have a self esteem, that is when she thinks a man is doing her in favor. Mama, say, boy, you're back. Dear, dear. Dear, dear. All right. If you don't want I want you to speak it in Igbo. Speak it in Igbo, please. I'm not Igbo. 
What are you? I'm Benin. Speak Benin. Speak Benin to them now. The self. Women should have. That's what they call self-esteem. Now English, you they, now English, you see they speak, my sister. My sister, now English, you see they speak now. Speak Benin to them. Let them hear. They, they don't know who they are. They don't know who they are. They, their self esteem is zero. No, women don't know who they are as, as, as a being, as a, a, what God has created. Uh -huh. You know your worth yes. as a human being, uh -huh. especially women. Uh -huh. Then you will not take bullshit from any man. Eh? Uh -huh. What did you just say? You will not take bullshit. From Why? Why will you say that word on my network? I'm coming. I, I know your address in Nigeria. I'm coming for you. I am coming for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. God bless you, Yabini. God bless you, man. Thank you. All right. Now, you notice, you notice that. You, I don't know. Maybe these people want to come on the show. I'm not sure if they want to come on the show. I'm not sure who. Please type it in if you want to come on the show and say, I want to come on the show. I see so many people requesting. Hello? Good afternoon, Dr. Shala. Good afternoon, ma'am. It's really interesting. God bless you for bringing this topic over uh -huh. and over again. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Before Ki Okwati Yahoo, yeah. it's implant BFA Japan. Yeah. Right? You need to sit down and have the conversation. Iwo Yahoo Bati Mokwe Okwe is a King Kong in the house. Ejoko King Sorope, Ibitan Loi, Ojuolomo Tony. Mm -hmm. Right, you mm -hmm. can't be doing I'm the man of the house in the abroad. Mm -hmm. Instead, when you are in Rome, you behave like the Romans. Of course, you are living your environment. You mm -hmm. need to examine how things operate in that environment. Where you're going, Reorient yeah. Yourself, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The orientation is really, really important. Very, very. You and wife, and you may just and she share a lot more. Mm. And you know, looking at that video, it's ridiculous. Does she even need to ask? Keep a boy, say rise. And then mm -hmm. he's flexing muscles and saying, She don't have Nigeria anymore. Why you mm -hmm. ask me this? But the woman is also working as yeah. much as he does. Uh -huh. You are doing 50 50. You know, my day, low, my and everything. Who is this? Where is the sense in him even having a debate about? Mm -hmm. It's your home. You are the head of this home. Mm -hmm. How difficult is it mm -hmm. for people to just realize, babe, we are doing this together. You are not enemies. You are, you are a team. Yeah. Why can't you just work together? Work together. To raise your kids, to, to do whatever it is you need to do to, to live as one. Thank you, madam. You hear all this, all these statistics, and all that mm. marriage is breaking, and, and whatever, whatever. It's your own doing. Uh, you want to bring the same rubbish mentality that you have in Nigeria yeah. to the abroad. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work that way. You learn yeah. and change. Uh, it is right. Thank you very much, madam. God bless you, man. Pastor Shola, good morning. Uh huh. Yes, I did. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> I'm What's fine. Going? I just want to add my, like, my, my two cents really quickly, right? So. You said what? I just want to add like my own two cents really quickly. Add, 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 um, add, add. So the one, one thing I wanted to say is I, I was talking to someone recently and he was telling me some bullshit about, you know, how his wife changed when he got to America and stuff like that. Yeah. And the first thing that I asked him is, I said, how long have you been in the U.S.? He said, oh, I've been here for like eight years and she was in Nigeria, yada, yada, yada. So I then asked him, I said, how did you treat her while she was there? It's a very mm -hmm. important question. How we treat our spouses during the times of adversity. Yeah. Um, you, it, it, so many people feel like, oh, we have to, I have to treat this woman a certain way because she lives in a different economy. Because she lives in, a Niger in Nigeria, um, there's a way you treat um, women, yada, yada, yada. A yeah. friend of mine told me recently, he was like, ah, when you come to Nigeria, when, when, when your wife comes, oh, uh, there's a way that they treat women that just come from Nigeria. And I said, what, what's the difference? Why would you treat her differently? <laughs> because, because you want to marry her in Nigeria, why would you treat her 
differently as opposed when you to get here. Who, yeah. who was here. So the thing is, is there's a there's an orientation shift that needs to happen. Okay. If that does not happen, automatically what happens? The woman will fight back. Even if it's a man, if you if you're a woman and you go bring a man back, he will, he will fight back because yeah. now the society where he's living in, it's a different kettle of fish. You yeah. can't expect you can't expect to put the uh, the engine of a Volkswagen inside a Mercedes and think that it will last for long. No, it's not going to happen. So at the end of the day, genuine love and respect is extremely important. Mm -hmm. We as men, especially, we got to learn that because yeah. in Nigeria, where you're coming from, it's normal for a man to you know to to lead, to be independent, to do a lot of stuff like yeah. other things like that. But in this country, the indices are different. It's different. You have to play by the, you have to play by the rules of the game. Otherwise, yeah. you get left behind. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. thank you very you much, Mr. You're the best, man. You're the best. And welcome back. Welcome back from Nigeria. I'm, I'm going back. I miss my wife. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Pastor. I'll see you when I come to Houston. All right, man. It's, no, okay. No, 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 that's okay. All right. Thanks. All right, let me pick this call. Hello? Uh-oh. How do I get out of here? Hello, Mr. Yeah, you want to contribute on the show? I want to contribute. All right, go ahead and contribute. The biggest thing men need to do when they move to Sina Twice yeah. is to have a mental shift. Okay. These are the same men that will date people out who are not Nigerians and mm. will do the exact the same thing that a Nigerian woman is asking about. Mm. Because I'm a way, oh, society won't back. Oh, she might, she not done only. Yeah. Why do Nigerian men Think they are entitled to disrespect their women. Okay. Knowing fully well that Nigerian women are not in a society that would empower them. Yeah. Nigerian men need mental shit. Support your woman, respect her. Mm -hmm. You are not helping when you take care of your kid, yeah. when you take care of your own. It's your home. It's your home. It's not her health. Uh -huh. And also, when you get to foreign country, your wife is working and contributing 50 50 percent. Yeah. Then that mentality from Nigeria, like, wait, meaning King Kong, it yeah. you end there. Yeah. You when you come back from work, both of you put your hand to the plow and build your family. And uh, build your family. Are suffering abroad and yes. the ones that are not good to their women. Uh -huh. Good men are enjoying their marriages. Yes. People oh. are staying and succeeding in the US, everywhere in the world, yes. when they respect their women. Yes. Oh. It is the ones that want to be doing a gid yeah. in the God bless you, madam. You have contributed well. I like that. All right. Like I asked the question, I said, why is it that when Nigerian men, when they marry foreigners, when they marry black Americans, white Americans, and the Caribbean people, why is it that they behave differently when they marry them compared to how they behave? when they marry the sisters, all right? And, and that's this point right there. And that's where you're going to understand that African men are knowledgeable. They know exactly what they're doing. And then I'm not going to blame them. I'm not going to blame them. Let me pick this call and I'll come back. Hello? Hello, can you hear me very well? I can hear you, sir. Yes, uh, so I've been listening to your show and... Uh, I will not keep something in. Right. I, and I'm going to take it from the point of uh, emotional intelligence. Okay. Uh, and what I understand is, I'm, I'm a Nigerian man. I live in America. Yeah. I've been here for close to 12 or 13 years. Yeah. The thing is, a lot of Nigerian men lack emotional intelligence. Yeah. And what thing about emotional intelligence means, how do you deal with your partner mm. by understanding their emotions? Uh-huh. Emotions is something, if you don't understand someone's emotion, then there's no way you can treat them and respect that emotion. Yeah. If, as a man, one thing most men don't understand is mm -hmm. if you engage in household chores with yeah. your wife, most of the times it's very fun. It's fun. Stay in the kitchen, cook with your wife. Those are what we call bonding moments. Yes, sir. Those are what we call bonding moments in the marriage. It's, yeah. not, rocket, it's not rocket science. These little things matter. This is America. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, how marriages succeed in America is when you have a two-income family. Mm -hmm. The husband is working, the wife is working, then find a middle ground mm -hmm. on how to manage all these household responsibilities. Yes, sir. If somebody, is, is, somebody has gone to work from 
nine to five, nine to six, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you, as a man, mm -hmm. maybe you have a, a very flexible workload. Yeah. Don't expect that woman that has gone to work from nine to six to come home and still come and make her laugh for you. Uh, uh, you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, Nigeria men get it wrong. They do. Because in Nigeria, a man will come home at, will come home at 10 o'clock and say, ah, I'm a lot of it. I'm a about the matter, but I already at home since 6 p.m. Your wife had a shift and came home at 9 30. Oh, I'm at 10 o'clock. Baba, Baba, can I can I can I keep this in with you? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, my good friend is now on his second marriage. Mm. He married a Nigerian woman the first time. Yeah. He, he, he won't do nothing in the house but just only pay bills. Mm. Then the woman filed for divorce, he walked away, and he said, Oh, Nigerian women are bad. I'm never going to marry Nigerian women again. Yeah. So he married a black American now. Mm. Alaye is doing shopping, sir. Alaye is the one washing bathroom, sir. Uh. Alaye is the one cleaning kitchen, sir. Alaye, they submit and pay check for house. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what they don't want to learn easily, they're going to learn it in a hard way. You will, you will, learn, you will, learn, it the, the, you will learn it the hard way. I, I, I cook. I'm the, I'm the one that cook mostly in my house uh -huh. because I know how to cook very well. Even my wife will tell you. Yeah. I know how to cook very well. Like, I can timber rum, I love you, my family. Ah, move it, yeah, my love, my family. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And one thing is, I derive so much joy in doing this. Mm. Yeah. I don't understand. These are little, little things. Uh -huh. We shouldn't even be discussing this kind of things in this in this century. Uh -huh. We shouldn't be discussing this kind of things in this century. Uh -huh. If as a man you clean the bathroom, it doesn't reduce. It doesn't reduce you to nothing. This is the bathroom that both of you are using. Yes, sir. How will you walk in your house and, and see how your house in a mess and be like, well, yai, yai, and that is it, that is it, that is the word. Yeah. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? Something yeah. both of you are using. It's a no brainer. Why can't you do your own part as a man? Yeah. It doesn't reduce your status of who you are. Yeah. I don't understand. It doesn't. It doesn't. Very, 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 very easy. Go little bang. Go little bit. Go, go can cook rice for a man that cannot cook rice. That's a shame. Oh, 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 you, you can't, you can't cook rice. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> 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 you, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, These things shouldn't be something that would, oh, my man, but then it might No, it won't cook your rice. It will, no, I don't understand. I don't do it. I will eat. I will eat. Everybody will eat. Take care of your kids. Yes. Take care of your, take care of your family. Yes, sir. And then at the end of the day, you will see that you will live long. You will live long. You will live, you will live long. Then you won't, you won't have kids that are traumatized. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, you, you, oh, you, you, you this man. You this man. This, this, that, that, the kind of trauma yeah. that this kind of things bring to the kids, most people won't understand. Yes. And at the end of the day, the kids will not blame the father. They won't blame the mother. They will blame both of you when they grow up. Of course. Of course. So, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. And, and in this part of the Nigeria, I call Lawa. You are in America. And uh, I don't even understand this whole fact about uh, Nigeria, I call Lawa. I mean, treat your wife the same way, either in Nigeria or in America. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. the fact that the law in America or in Canada yeah. supports, with, supports women when you maltreat them, the yeah. law of man, it, it's, it's called the cultural shock. Yeah. Why did you out? Oh, but you know, they suffer. Well, they suffer. That woman would not suffer. Well, they suffer. Will suffer, I told them. You will be the one who goes to the woman. Oh, Nick Bale. 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 Thank you, Baba. God bless you, man. I really appreciate it. All right. All right. Hello? Hello? Oh, that person is gone. Now, let me tell you guys this real quick, all right? Let me tell you this real quick, okay? Now, as I was saying, when Nigerian men, when they marry foreigners, they treat them well. They understand the whole things, and then they do right. You see, a lot of men that always come to attack on my show, because they married a bad woman, they can't use their eyes, see, shaking. 
every woman is bad to death. All right? For them to be able to separate women from their ex-wife, they can't. They now see every woman like their ex-wife. And whose fault is that? It is your fault, brother. You are the one going to marry big breast. You are the one that wants to marry big bonbon. And now we can't give you big bonbon and big breast without character. One party will be like that. All right. Hello, Jerry. Yes, ma'am. Hello, sir. Uh, we are hearing you. Yes, sir. I'm coming from Canada. It's actually real and it's. It's traumatizing for many women. Many women are in this, in this case uh -huh. and they don't know we have. Yeah. The most of it, it's just one thing that happened yesterday. The night shift, the women are shaped three to seven PM. When they suffer from the face, most of the way we do one left. That is the bar. The community are clearly saying you put them back. Never could ever see what I want more to be. How much Sure, maybe they do, but let me let me hide them. I'm not sure maybe they want to come, but let's see if they want to. We're gonna add them all. Hello. Hello, Dr. Shola and Lisa. How are you doing? Good day, I'm very okay. Are you just waking up? I am just waking uh, up, unfortunately. Ah, this, your face. <laughs> this always look like somebody that had a dream. I right. did have a good dream. Okay. So I'm here in Canada and I know that that's the thing for sure. Yeah. I'm a single woman in her 30s. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I want a Nigerian man, preferably Yoruba for my, you know, okay, okay. But um, it's, it's, it's very troubling for mm -hmm. women like me because we actually want men from our tribes. Mm -hmm. But then we hear stories about how they treat women. Mm -hmm. I have experienced it even in my family, in my circle. So it's, it's, it's disheartening, you know, because yes, they treat all the counterparts differently, mm -hmm. favorably. But then they don't treat us, our sisters, they don't treat us good. They don't treat us well. It's crazy. And it's like, it's selective because when you're out with friends, you treat your wife in a different way. When you get home, you treat her in a different way. It doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make no sense at all. And it's scary for me because now I'm thinking, should I just be with a white man who would treat me well? But I don't want to be with a white man. I'll, tr I'll rather be with a black man than yeah. be with a white man. So it's, 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 I don't know if you have any advice for me or young ladies who are ready to get married and, and we don't know what to do because of these things that we hear. I, it's, it's, I know, sad. but you can't give up. You can't give up. Uh, we see how good Nigerian men, African men, a lot of good ones. Uh, but sometimes they don't have six packs and sometimes yeah. they are not tall. <laughs> and, and that's sometimes the they thing. don't have BMW. I know. And sometimes they don't work in Wall Street and sometimes they're not making six figure salary. I know right. that, that's a very big, big issue because sometimes the guys I want are way out of my league. Yeah. 
So it's crazy because I'm I'm trying to level up. So I'm I'm on my journey to level up. I don't have a problem with that, but I still don't want to settle for less. Uh, I've come this far. I'm not gonna settle for less. So let, I don't know. Can I, can I give you can I give you one small illustration or probably a story? I um I connected the guy to a lady and she started speaking English. Oh, my stone that is this, my this is that. He doesn't have paper. He doesn't have this. I said, Madam, I said, no, I I I I declined. I said, okay, that's fine. Can you just talk to him for like a few minutes? So he said, okay, he did. He spoke a little bit, they did phone calls and stuff and video call. He, he, she ended up blocking the guy. I said, okay. So I found another girl who is actually a professional in the old field, making money, introduced this guy. He accepted the guy. I mean, she accepted the guy. Uh, the two of them got married. The guy went to school, became IT specialist, was doing cyber security. All right. Now they got pregnant, they had a baby girl and stuff. And five years down the road, the other lady that was speaking English was still single. All right. Now I met the guy at the mall in New York City. I said, oh, how are you? I said, oh, I'm fine. How are you doing? Long time. I said, yeah. My wife, my daughter, and myself. Right now, I'm actually a cyber security guy. It's stopping me. The lady now called me. Dr. Shola, I messed up. I said, any help, Bobby? You go mess up for life. I think see, about, sometimes about that ladies, sometimes. When you ladies, they do all this shakala, shakala. You see, a guy you're saying today that is zero, it's not going to remain zero forever. And you know the funny thing about guys? Any push. They're gonna they're gonna fly like you never seen them before. Doctor so where you are right now, Doctor Shaw, sure, some guys pass you. Sorry to cut you off. Some guys are just okay with where they are. They're okay don't, with don't marry that one. I don't marry that one. That's I, why I, I have say, big dreams. Look for I, the raw material. Look for raw material. The raw material you're looking for is the kind of raw material that you put a little bit of water. Ha! You go catch fire. Well, how, and can those I, ones, how can I identify such a guy? Me, how I know that. I? I know that. Run them by me. Me, I will show you that this one. Ah, forget this guy. This guy is gonna skyrocket big time. All right. So don't look down on guys. Don't say I want the guy walking in Wall Street. I want the guy making seven figure. I want a guy with BMW and stuff like that. No. All right. Always tell God, God, I need your will. Let your will be done in my life. You see, the will of God is always perfect. Sometimes when it comes, it's gonna come in the kind of a package you don't like, but it's still his will. Because there's a journey is taking you through. All right? You may be the one. Like my wife was the one that boosted me. I had no money when she married me. She was the one that was a newscaster working in the TV. And I was collecting her check to live our life. And look at me right now. Okay? Look at me right now. She's cooking my food right now. Right now, she's cooking my food. Okay? She has forgotten me that I used to be broke guy before. So today, thank God she married me. And we both, I thank God I married her too. We both, we have peace right now. All right? And that's what you need to look for. You're a pretty girl. You, I'm sir. telling you, I, I want to toast you right now. I want to say hello. Do you want to marry me right <laughs> now? Can shibet. I be your zad? <laughs> <Emma shibet. laughs> Emma no, but the thing is, it, there's a misconception for ladies who actually want to marry well. Yeah. People think we're just all about the money. And it's not the money. It's values. It's the kind of family he's from. It's kind of the ideas he has in his head. Yeah. His future goals. It's all yeah. these things that make a man a quality man. So when people say, I don't want to settle for less, people just automatically think that it's the money we're after. It's not. Yeah, it's yeah not. you go, go for the potential. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what you need to go for. Yeah. Right? If you're looking for a guy, I have some guys. For real. And some guys. I'm in back. Toronto. I'm in Toronto. I don't know. I don't know if do I can like do you like the one with this. Pot Belly? I don't want Pot I mean, he should. I've started going to the gym because, you know, I want to be fit. I've started going pot to the gym. Pot Belly is good. Pot Belly you use it as a pillow. I don't want. You I have pillows. I can buy pillows. Like this. Say, oh, I can buy. Daddy, I, I can buy daddy. pillows, Doctor Shola. I can buy know. pillows. He needs to look right. How about you know, if you guys get like I used to have this bag. Now I don't have this bag again. Yeah, I know. We tend to lose muscles when we're when we're getting older. But I mean, no, no, not not pot belly. You know, I will give he needs you to look good in a suit. Now, now, now. Let's take a second. <laughs> guys, are you guys there? Yeah, do you like this fine girl right now? Right now, if you like this fine girl right this moment, can you please send me a message and say I like that girl from Toronto? She said instead of saying Toronto, she said Toronto. You know, say that's the way you. <laughs> <laughs> when I came to Dr. Canada, Shalak, I said, I'm going to Toronto. To. The man looked at me and said, what? I said, Toronto. 
He said, no, it's Toronto. I said, what do you mean? And I was spelling it. Go and look at the spelling. I know, you know, I know but they pronounce it that way. But Dr. Shola, I really want to commend you on what you're doing. You Thank have you. fans all over the world. Yeah. We watch you. Some of us are not as consistent as some people, but yeah. we watch you and we appreciate you for saying yeah. the truth, your Thank honesty. You. Yes, you're committed to the to the goal. So we really appreciate Nobody's you. Nobody's asking me, are you in that. Nigeria? Are, why are you asking me, is he in Nigeria? Why is he speaking English? I speaking Yoruba like this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Message me later. I need to connect you with a fine boy, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. No God problem. Bless Thank you. Thank you, you God very bless much. you. Take care. Have a good day. Bye bye. Now, guys, let me tell you guys one thing real quick. And what I want to share with you guys is this let, let's leave jokes alone. Jokes apart. African men, we need to do better. We need to do better. It's very, very important for us to do better. All right. We, we need to do more than what we're doing right now. We're messing up. I'm messing up big time. It's time to go back to the drawing table. We have to treat our women right. We have to. You, you're looking for the secret of happy home. The secret of happy home is in your hand as a man. You are the one who dictates how you want your home to look like. You're the one. I took a counseling session like some few weeks ago. And um, after we finished the stuff, and um, the, man, the man showed me a video he just bought his wife a brand new Mercedes Benz. And he took a video from it. And stopped. I was just so happy. Okay. Let me come back. Let me pick this call. Hello? And took a video from Hello? Hello? Yes, can you can you speak a little louder, please? And turn the and turn the back and turn the uh, turn the phone off. We are hearing the sound yeah. from the back. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah. So I just wanted to say something about what you, you're talking about. And uh, before that, I really want to say uh, I'm a Nigerian lady and we are proud of what you're doing. Okay. And I pray that God will continue to bless you. Amen. So with the, the stuff you just said, I'm just like a, um, an exam example. I came in here with my husband and, you know, everything was fine. But, you know, the character from Nigeria, it doesn't help. It doesn't assist. Even when you clean it will be the one to mess it up. And it was yeah. like, yeah, if I'm doing that, you should be able to do it because you are my wife. We got here, started working, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But to cut the long story short, sometimes it will even use the bathroom, and he expects me to, like, flush after he's done. Like, yeah. he's up after he's done. I'm telling you, I said, we started this issue back from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Even the baby I was having in May, I, I, I gave birth. My son started correcting his father. So for you to know that is not something that he started yesterday. Mm. And you know, his family would be like, oh, you know, men, they have to be pampered. You have to, because he brought me here. Yeah. He actually, we came together. So it was just a whole lot. And I was going through a lot. Eventually, we got, we got divorced. And I was like, where do I start from? I'm going to tell you the truth. Mm. I never believed. I found a man that, he does everything. Like Tori go oh, fine, around, Tori go fine. Me. Ah, honestly, Dr. Go Shana, fine, you fine, but you way go fine. Dr. Shola, it's just a whole lot. Like before, I pick this, he's gonna pick it for me. If I'm cooking, they go say go on Nigeria, all the holy goes yeah. I did not, you know. It just came. You know, you said something. You said God's will. Don't even matter how it comes, but. Definitely something is going to come. Yeah. Even when he came, I'm like, oh, he's brilliant. He went to school. But I was looking at the accent. And it was the only show thing, but when he back me. And I said, okay, let me give it a try. And I did. But I'm not regretting today. Like, mm. I God just, what I wanted, God just gave it to me. Sometimes mm. the way it comes, it might be very funny. So men out there, learn to appreciate your women. Look, mm. let me tell you, women, we are not crazy. We don't want your money sometimes. We are not lazy. I work for myself. I do my stuff myself. Yeah. But when you have a man, it's just a surplus. So men, can you please do better? I see our Nigerian men, they open the door for white lady here. You see mm. them, they will take out the pampas. They will clean. They will even babysit the child. But you cannot mm. do it for we, your women. Mm. We are not crazy. Even before we start giving it back to you, yeah. we would have talked and talked and talked. Yeah. But we'll get to a point, and by the time we return, mm. it's not going to be easy. It's not so be men easy. out there, can you please just do something? And what you are doing, your kids are watching from you. Your mm. kids, that's what, that is how it grows. And they get married, they start treating their wives the same thing. Yeah. Please, we can do better. 
Brashola, God bless you. And thank I you, madam. We continue to empower you. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. All right. So I think somebody wants to come in. I've accepted. Okay, let's see what he's going to say. Hello? Dr. Shola. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, good. Thank you very much for taking the request. First of all, I want to say a very big thank you to what you, for what you've been doing, like genuinely deep down. I'm not. If you uh, said thank you uh, and stop yama yama, I would block your. <laughs> all right, all right. So for me, first of all, the, to be honest with you, I feel like the entire African people, we talk less of the importance of loving that person you want to spend the rest of your life with. Like there is no much emphasis fancy on me as much as it's supposed to be. Okay. I've not been married. I'm hoping to get married someday. You have a girlfriend. But I just strongly believe that. Oh, Rash, I will, Rash, uh, you don't want to know my story about my no, love life. It's don't terrible. Tell us, don't tell us. We don't, we are, I'm actually from my <laughs> <eyes> already. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm really looking forward. Uh, you know, no, to be honest with you, yeah. Dushala, I really, I really hope you also pay attention to countries outside America and Canada and the likes of the, the world, you know. Like, okay, so like when I'm in South Africa, uh, uh, I live in South Africa and I have my things being for me. But it's been difficult when it comes to this thing of settling down. Some of us don't want to be a baby daddy and all of those things. Some of us, we don't have that kind of home that we desire. So we want to build one for ourselves. Do you, you understand? Yeah. So that's not even what I'm calling right now. I'm just trying to, you know, put in my two cents into right. this conversation. I'm putting it there. We are not emphasizing enough the importance of loving your partner. I still strongly believe that there is no way you're gonna love your partner and you won't be kind to this person. Him or her. Oh my kind this you don't have a choice. Yeah. I wouldn't want to see you go through so much pain if I'm genuinely in love with you. Mm -hmm. And I, I've seen people coming, you know, saying a lot of things and even on social media we say things, but I still feel like let's be honest, let's if we're gonna be so real with ourselves, yeah. our ladies are I can't generalize it, but 65% of them, one in the call, you already tell you one. I know the word is it's, it's, it's in a very big mess in, in terms of uh, livelihood and everyday activities. But at the same time, for me, love conquers many things and everything, if not all of the things. You know, like, once it be, okay, I will to so them come from Toronto, as she said. I hope I pronounced it the way she said, she sounded. She says she want to level up. Nothing is wrong with being level up, but as a man, how am I going to define your statement of leveling up? Besides, you want me to make you better. How do you make somebody better? How do you make anything better without money? Let's be honest. Mm. You, you don't need she says she doesn't I'm want to money. Do, I'm going to do a teaching about that. You don't need money to be able to invest in people. Um, you know, you don't. You don't really need money to do that. Uh, sometimes we men, we men always see money as the as the as the gas. Uh, without money, with the guy, we believe we don't have a say. Uh, money is something important to a man. Uh, women too like money; they love money also. But you see, sometimes it's not just about money. Like in this house, sometimes my wife just wants me to sit down next to her and be rubbing her leg. That's what she. <laughs> uh, sometimes my wife just wants me to just listen. She will talk, 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 talk. Just listen. I just listen. <laughs> And all you want me right. to do is just to be able to give her a idea, push her to do one thing or the other. There are so many ways that we could actually oh. use to be able to empower women, push them, invest in their life that is actually got nothing to do with money. But for men, for men, we only we only roll with money. The moment we have money, we believe we have power. So that's why we can do things. Because that, that's what the society makes us to believe. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. That's what the society yeah. makes us to believe. Who are the society? It's it not probably dominated by the women. Let's be honest. Like they've made it look like my guy only like to be financially stable before you come and talk about your feelings yeah. to me. Like, but, but the lady back or not at the same so time. Said, we are we just trying. I, I don't know really. I don't know. All right. One thing that you don't understand is this: uh, the level that I am right now, I, they didn't. Mm. I didn't just. I didn't just get to this point in my life. You know. And I've been married now for 32 years. So wow. 
I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't just get, I didn't just get to this point. That was the time I had no money. I had nothing, no money. I was rubbing the leg as a poor sure. man. Go and ask about me, Ring Road, the bad dog. I was a pastor with only one jacket. When you want to describe Pastor Shola, then is one pastor without drafted jacket. I only had one jacket. No way. I was, yeah, I was rubbing my wife's feet. Every time she come back from work, I will rub her feet. All right? So I've been doing that as a broken. Okay. So it's not about money. It's not right now that I'm a little better that I'm now rubbing the leg. It's, it's, it's a mindset thing. Mm -hmm. Dr. Shola, you see now, it's 30 years ago, it. it's a long time old. It's a long huh? time. I want to say the game is so different. Dating pool, you know, a lot of like that. Long. It's different. Hey. And, and don't forget too. Don't forget, women in marriage too. They evolve. They evolve. They change. Even though they're married, they're upgrading too. So don't believe that because oh, you guys wanted to get married now, and it's different from when we got married. It's a different. It's not a different ball game. They are inside of marriage and they're changing. They're evolving and growing too. So we are faced hmm. with this same situation you guys are faced with all right but all, all we got is that we grew up with Agbalagba. we grew up with adults who told us look your many wash it we grew up with a father that oh. said you have to take care of your wife like i'm taking care of your mother we grew up with a father who made us to understand that if you are if a woman should allow you to sleep with her treat her as a queen okay oh. we grew up with that we grew up like that, and that's it. And this guy, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me respond to this guy. You don't need money to get married. I was in New York City. Some of my people that followed me here, maybe oh. one of them. Listen, listen. Can, can you listen to me? Can you? Okay. You don't need money. I'll prove it to you. Yes, sir. Your yes, sir. All right. I used to have a hall okay. in New York City. I call it the Lux Lounge, Signet Hall. And let me let me tell you how. how okay. It happens like this that I, I was visiting churches and I see a lot of mm -hmm. girls that are like 28, 30, they're still single and they just stay in church and they come to church to pray, pray, pray and something popped into my head I said, well, can I have a place where I could bring winner's tapu girls and the redeemed boys and the CAC girls and the uh, 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 other churches to come together to see each other because those girls are not mm -hmm. going to marry the guys in their church they grew up together as brothers, so they won't see them as people they could marry. So I want to expose them. So I started. And they will come, they'll pay $20 to come into the club. They will dance all night, they have a drink, and then they start meeting people. So one of them now approached me, said, Pastor Jola, I said, yes. He said, I found someone I love, but I don't have money to do marriage. I said, you know what? You don't need it. I was the one that got them married at the hall. You know what I did? The girl mm. was dressed up in the wedding gown. The guy was dressed up in his tuxedo. And then they have their friends and myself. We got married at the hall. They had cake. We took pictures. If you see the wedding picture, you would think like two billion people were there at the wedding. Fantastic pictures. And that guy right now is a pastor with four kids now. The second one, wow. we got, I didn't take a dime. They didn't cook jollof fries. They didn't do nothing. Nothing. The second was a lady, huh. found the guy, came to me, was like, my husband doesn't have a job right now, and we're thinking of getting married. I said, don't worry about it. I said, on Friday, when we're having the club, that's when your wedding will, ha will happen. So I announced it, and everybody came dressed up real good for the party, and stuff. they came there. We didn't buy food, we didn't buy drinks. People were buying their drinks there. And then they got married, they took pictures, and today, as I'm talking to you right now, they have two kids right, right now. All right? Hmm. They have two kids right now. Me that I'm talking to you, my wedding cost me 5000 naira. 5000 The wedding ring I brought, I bought, broke the second day. <laughs> okay? My wedding suit was actually bought, was bought by my mother. All right? I don't know where she got her wedding gown from. There was no food wow. at the reception of my wedding. People who know me will tell you, no, no food at the reception of my wedding. Are you getting the point? So it is us yes, that think about this whole thing. When you sit your wife to be there and tell your wife, this is who I am, or what we relocate, you must say bonus to to Siri. Because a lot of you boys, you are all money. 
Just a quick one. Do you know if I tell you this that 2022, yeah. I tried getting married to a lady in Nigeria yeah. who happened to be a divorcee. Mm -hmm. I paid, paid the what is it called, bride price. Yeah. But because of their drama, this person created the whole scene out of nothing. Wanted us to have a like a, a serious fight. According to her, after the whole thing happened, she said to me, she said to me, when there's an argument between us, I want you to come in between the fight. Mm -hmm. For me, for my own understanding of being a mature person, I want to walk away, come back, have a proper communication. Because we're not communicating, we're just grabbing, we're screaming right now. Let me take a walk and come back and talk. He said, no, to me, the way she understand this thing you know, of marriage and relationship is, when there's a fight, let's fight. I'm not from, I, I can't do that. I just couldn't. And that was how the whole thing went, you know, just like that. Mm. So ever since then, I've been having serious reading from Nigeria. Let's connect you with the fine girl, Joe. You talk too much. <laughs> Let's give you a fine girl and go get married. How old are you now? I'll be 35 in ah, May Darugo. 5. Udi Darugo. Udi now. Ah, doctor, a long camera ago. Okay. I try, I take care of myself. Hello, sir. I did not you now. Okay, sorry. You're just hey, serious. You're just so serious like that. No, I'm man. serious. I'm serious. Hello, sir. How are you? I did. Um, I did. I did. Wait, what yeah, talk? I, I follow. I, I listen to a lot of your podcast and all your talks on Instagram. Yeah. And you're somebody that really motivates me. Um, my name is Doctor ah. Ibe. I ah. work in. I can't motivate that. you, Doctor. Your old Doctor. Me, I motivate you. Like, like. I know they motivate you. They inject you. They give you injection. <laughs> Yeah, but right. sir, I want to also say something. 
about what you said about not um okay i'm i'm, I'm I, I work in saudi arabia i'm a doctor here okay and um, i'm moving to the uk soon i just passed my uk exams so i'm moving congratulations man thank you i want to say that it is tribe specific sir and you know i worked in ibadan for three years i've worked with yoruba people i'm Igbo. okay you cannot marry in Igbo land without money sir it mm -hmm. is it's impossible in Igbo mm -hmm. land what you can do is that you can show your interest in the lady you can okay. have her okay make i tell you this okay you sir. want me to tell you this yes sir yes sir <laughs> come to america i will show you a lot of Igbo guys that didn't go to nigeria to get married they got married to their wives here no, I mean in Nigeria. I mean, uh, you're talking about the reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're talking, I, I wanted to always say Nigeria. Okay, Nigeria. But when you say yeah, yes, Igbo, yes, yes, I know a lot of Igbo <laughs> guys that knew that they're going to be spending too much money. They talk to their wives. We're getting married here legally, and we're getting married. We're still having children. I am not going to Africa to get married to you. And they agreed, and they are married today. They have kids. They're doing well. Ah, doctor, where are you now? What is the problem? It's, yeah, man. It's it's a serious thing. Man. It's a serious thing. What is what is serious? What is the serious thing? Don't tell me it's serious thing. It's serious thing. <laughs> serious thing. Okay, sir. I also wanted to I also wanted to contribute about like what you said right. earlier. My brother. The problem is that sometimes um our um yes some African men have ego and all that. Some African men are terrible. I agree. Totally. But sometimes some Nigerian women too have this escape mentality. When they go Thank abroad, you. they feel that you're choking them. They just feel that they want to, they want something new. They women are so fast to forget all the sacrifices and all the things you have done for them. And because of a little mm -hmm. thing, one or two little things, you understand? Mm -hmm. Nobody is perfect. But if there's no abuse, this person is not beating you, this person is providing for you, this person is caring for you. Say he Thank chop, you. he chop, you know, wash plates. Or oh, um he he go to toilet, you know, flush. I'm not I'm not in support of that, sir. But I'm just saying, um, you know, change pampas for picking. All these things are something that could be resolved and sat down and talked about maturely. If that person is at least a great man, you understand. And if and I feel who, like, who's your definition of a great man? No, a great man is a man that provides for his family is not, actively. Um, is, is that's not his responsibility? Are you married to a full-time housewife? I'm not married. <clears throat> okay, when you get married to a woman that is working, now yes, a man in our own society that we live here, the salary of a man is not enough to. Pay Pay the old bills that we acquire here. You need the support of your wife. So if your wife is working eight hours a day and you are working eight hours a day, what does that make the two of you? A provider. provider. You get it, right? So when we now come to the house, who's supposed to be washing the clothes and washing plates and cooking? The two of us. Do you get the point now? So the yes. issue is that you as a man doesn't have enough money to pay the bills to actually make your wife a full-time housewife. The woman is still going outside to work and bring the money home to pay the bills. You should give her that respect. I say, sweetheart, I understand you're working too. So I need to help you. Where do you want me to help? And your wife will say, all you're wanting to do is just to take care of the bathroom. I'll take care of the rest of it. All right? But when you, you went to work and you came back, you changed your clothes, you went to the gym, Pumping your muscle and all kinds of stuff. Then going to hang out, going to hang out with your friends, drinking and see, and all kinds of stuff. And then you come back ten <laughs> o'clock at night and you say, oh, "Where's my food? Where's my food? Where's my food?" And oh yeah, what's that? Your deep on board, your deep on board, and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> the woman is going crazy on you. So, 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 so why is it that most marriages? Why is it that most marriages after they move to America? I have like two or three friends yeah. who who uh, my classmates are doctors in America. When they move there, they go to Nigeria, get somebody, marry. After one child, they are divorcing. After one child, it scares me. What is the problem, sir? Like you, uh, what is what is the issue? What is adaptation. The problem? Adaptation is the problem. When African men, it's just like the way you're talking right now. When African men, when they get to the U.S. or get to Canada or go to get to the U.K., the system is different. We get paid hourly, and we pay mortgage. 
it every month. In Nigeria right now, I believe they are trying to change mortgage and rent to every month now. It's going to affect a lot of people. Now, majority of people who live in Africa, they pay their rent yearly. You've already paid it in a year, so you don't have to blink. For us, every 28th of the month, there is high blood pressure. And, yes, sir. and the money we pay is a lot of money. Do you get it? So, bills are going to put pressure on you as a man. The bills are going to put pressure on the woman also. Now, marriage itself is actually full of pressure. The woman is asking, love me. The man is saying, respect me. The children are saying, mommy. The children are saying, daddy. All of this stuff at the end of the day is so much. All right? And African men believe in dictatorship. Do this. Do this. And then they put a threat. If you don't do it, I'll divorce you. Now, you're putting it in the end of your wife. And then one day, the woman will say, you know what? Um, Get out of here. Get out. I don't I've want you around. I've got a question, sir. Get out. And you see, the beautiful thing is that because they have the kids with them, the government will come to their rescue. The government will give them a house to live. The government will give them full stamp, will give them support for the kids and send them to school. And you as a man, at that point in time, you start carrying girls all around the place. Those ones will start sucking all your money. At the end of the day, you feel miserable. And then the government will take child support out of your money. And that's probably like a 40, 50% of your salary going. <laughs> and then if you have a mortgage already and they give the house to your wife, you're still paying the mortgage when you're gone. Wow. So men, we go all the way down okay. as women are going up. So the best thing right now for African men to understand is that when the two of you are still good, Keep that good. Don't mess <laughs> up. Don't bring your stupid <laughs> ego from Africa to this place. All right? You know, make sure you understand that partnership is what we are doing. There is nobody that is inferior to another. There is no second class citizen. She is a partner. You are a partner. All right? A lot of men have moved to Africa. Some men are working in McDonald's right now because they don't want to pay child support. So they mm. They have to go Good question, a sir. medical doctor. A medical doctor that is making five hundred thousand dollars a year now is no longer working as a doctor because thirty percent of his money is being taken out for child support. So he wanted to make the woman to suffer, so he decided to go and get a job in McDonald's. He's no longer working as a doctor. That's crazy. Who is who is suffering? Who is the person suffering, sir? He is the one suffering because that woman will get the government support. That woman will get a house if you want to get a house. Okay? But it will be I've got a question, so far sir. for this. I don't see any big deal in washing plates. I don't see any big deal in washing the bathroom. I don't see no big deal in cooking. Every African man should learn to cook and cook for their wives whenever it's needed. that's true. The woman is not asking you to cook every day. She's only asking you whenever I'm coming late. Please cook. I cook for my wife. It's exercise for me. I love it. It's romantic. I clean for my wife. It's my exercise. And that's what I do every day. I wash the dishes. I love it when I do so. Sometimes I even put it on social media that I'm doing it. Because it's fun for me. All right? It creates a bond sir, between you and your wife. I've got a question, sir. Please, sir. Go ahead. So... So the, the, the statement, the statement, responsibility without authority is a modern slavery. So it is wrong to apply it in, in the marriage. Is that what you are saying? Or it is wrong to apply it in American marriage? Style, the leadership style that the African men must go and learn is what they call servant leadership. Servant leadership. And servant leadership means that whatever you want your family to do, you do it first. Before you got married, now you're single. Doctor is single. Are you guys cooking right now? Yes. Sorry? I, 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 have a, I have a YouTube channel where I cook. Thank you. So by the time you get married, are you still going to cook, doctor? Yes, um, why not? I love cooking. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Doctor, sir, do you do your laundry yourself? Yes. All right. Laundry. When you get married, are you still going to do laundry? Yes, why not? All right. I, I, now, 
in your house, uh, you clean your room, you make your bed. So, yes, sir, I do that. All right. So, servant leadership means that what you've been doing before you get married, you continue to do it to show your wife the way you want your life to be. Okay. So you do with her. And what you do is what your wife will emulate and do also. And don't forget, your children are watching. And that's the same thing they're going to learn and they do at the same time. So when you get married, doesn't mean you're going to retire from cooking. You're going to retire from sweeping the floor. You're not going to retire from doing all this. Me growing up, my mother will make us to clean the house, sweep the whole place. So we do it. The woman is called the help meet, which means that the woman is only coming to help you to do that duty and responsibility. You are not a boss. You are a lover. So you mm. love her as Christ mm. loved the church. So if you love her as Christ loved the church, you will give your life to her to protect, to supply her need, to do all kinds of stuff you need to do. And now, you see that woman will reciprocate. Exactly what you do is exactly what the woman is going to do to you. Without forcing okay. her. So I have do. a question. Yes. What if you have, maybe, what if you have, you happen to marry a difficult person? There are some people that are difficult, sir. You do, you try 100%. to show this person an example. You Why did you marry a difficult person? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that for people that you know, Sorry. Is it, like, how do you handle this? Maybe what if you love? What if you love a woman and the woman? Sorry, sir. What if you love a woman Sorry. and she's difficult? How 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 can you cope with that? Would you say abandon the? <laughs> Sorry. Ah, Jesus. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. Okay, uh -huh. Oh, God. No. Sorry, sir. Sorry. In this case, you see, a man is given the right to pick who they want to get married to. I really don't believe you should go for someone that is difficult and say, This difficult one, I'm going to marry her. <laughs> Then, then you look stupid. Later down the road, it's like I asked you the question, you started laughing, right? <laughs> yes. like, That's the same question I'm going to ask you when you come. <laughs> I say, okay, why did you marry her? So when you know somebody is actually stubborn, somebody is stubborn, but he has big breasts, and there's big bum bum. <laughs> and you marry her because of the big breasts and big bum bum, then you're still stupid. <laughs> okay, sir, so, um, I, want to, I, want, I just want to share a brief experience. I was dating somebody some two years ago. I loved her so much. Like she was everything I needed, but she was kind she was a she was a barrister. She works in New York. She was everything I wanted in a woman, but she was very difficult. So um, it got to an extent where I went to a mentor, one of my mentors, a pastor. Mm -hmm. He talked to us and everything, because I really wanted to get married to her. He talked to us and everything. At the end of the day, he told me in in confidence that um from talking to this lady, she's a difficult person. But if you're patient enough, you're somebody that can, you know, um, try to reshape her mind and make her better than, um, like, in character-wise. So I was thinking about that thing in relation to what you say now. So after, when the difficulty became too much, I called the pastor and told him that I was calling off the relationship, that I was no more interested. And this lady would cry to my parents, mm -hmm. to my pastor, and but she would not change her character in trying to understand me and trying to hear me out, you know. So I'm now relating it to what you're saying. Yeah. I think that I really did myself a very big favor by walking out of a relationship that right. was very right. toxic. Let me, let me let me take this to the Bible. The Bible says a man cannot change a, man, a woman, and a woman cannot change a man. You see, see what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. If that woman is not good at the beginning, can be good at the at, at the end of it. Marriage, you have to be intentional about it. You have to understand what you're going into. Even if that person looks like the kind of person you're looking for and the character is not, that's still a red flag. There is a yellow flag. The yellow flag means that this thing could be rectified. But a red flag is no, no. You can't go there. A yellow flag is a caution. That if you don't do something about this, 
This is the way you live your life. A red flag means stop, don't do it. And a green flag means go ahead, everything is all right, you can do it. All right? So that's the stuff. So when you are looking for a wife, there is the flesh that demands for things. And the flesh will always demand for big breasts. <laughs> all the time, big breasts. Because you'll be dreaming about putting it in your mouth. You'll, say, ah! <laughs> you'll dream about it. It's going to be in your brain. And then you see the big bomb bomb that will be shoot out like this. Heavy. Heavy will be shaking. You'll be like, boom, 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 shake like this. And you're the daddy, man. Shake it for daddy, man. You Dr. Shola. Dr. Shola. Now, Dr. Shola. If you, yes. yes. Okay. If you now marry but you, you kept on saying you kept on saying we shouldn't look at bomb bomb and what what. I'm not saying that. Shouldn't I I'm, be I'm sexually attracted to you? There's a balance thing that the body shape and the character must fit what you're looking for. Don't just get carried okay. away by what the flesh is demanding. The flesh would demand for body parts, but the spirit would de de demand for the character, character, the temperament, okay. the mm. attitude. Okay. So mm. those words were, you want to see the God on the inside of that body. This, mm. well, this body looks good. I love the way it is. I love the way it's shooting out. But the character inside is nothing that I want. That's the red yes, sir. flag you go. Yes, sir. Because there are people with the full package. They have the body mm. and they have the character. Mm. Then you go for those ones and keep going. Then sometimes the package may not look exactly like what you want, but eventually if you put a little money into that package, it will look like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, the package may not look that great. The package will look like, ah, you know, I kind of stop. You see, majority of the ones you see on social media is body magic. Hmm. Yeah, I agree with you, sir. Sometimes the women are like 350 pounds, but when they put the body magic in, they look like 180. And then you be like, oh my god, this is the paper. Right the breast is like it's a lie. The moment they remove the corset, the breast will go pow, and then you go, oh, ah. so don't fool yourself. It's not fool yourself as a man. I mean that the back of your mind that marriage is a yes, black sir. market. You don't know yes, what sir. you're getting until you get inside. All right. Yes, so the issue is that you got to learn and deal with your own self, so that you will not go by what the flesh is demanding. Man, go by yes, what sir. the spirit is yes, demanding. Yes, sir. Because so, sir, the body this... sometimes will not look the way it's supposed to. A little love, a little affection, a little compliment, a little money, we get that body to that point, and you see her glowing. I see yes, her looking all beautiful as you grow and then she glow. And you look at her, you say, Wow, this is great. All, all you need is just to give a little bit of attention to get out of that place. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. But the most important part of life is the character. Is this woman going to respect me? Will she honor mm -hmm. me? Will she listen to me? Will she be able to be my partner? Will she mm -hmm. open her account to me? Can we do joint account together? Will she love mm -hmm. my mother? Will she respect my dad? Will she allow my brothers and sisters to visit? That's the part you need to go and look at. And when you now see that part of it, you don't mess that part up. If that, if that woman is that kind of a person that will allow you to bring all these people in, that will respect them, then you don't misuse that woman. You don't abuse that woman. You make sure you respect that woman and make sure she enjoys the best of you. Mm. Support her, fight for her, do whatever it takes for you to do to make sure that re she remains in that position where she is, the position of respect that where you put her. Mm. And you find that you, you enjoy your marriage all through. When I wanted to get to, to married to my wife, I didn't want to get married to my wife. I wanted to kind, I wanted to kind of a, a roller coaster babe. You know the kind of babe that is called roller coaster. The roller coaster <laughs> babe is before I said, ah, she already opened up her skirt. Let's do it. Uh, no roller coaster babe is that if I'm taking you on the street, I just hold you and I slap your bum bum, pa, and then you say, yeah. yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> but, but God.
God looked at me. God looked at me and said, you're very stupid. Very stupid is not what you want. Because the assignment I want to give to you requires a well-cultured woman, a woman with peace, mm. a woman that is well-trained. That's the kind of woman that you mm. need. You don't need all this slapping and bum bum and jumping all around the place and stuff. No! So I told myself, mm. God, I surrender or to Jesus. <laughs> so he brought my wife to me and she's the kind of person that, oh, let us pray for this. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, no, I can't do that. Oh, this. I said, oh, God. Me, I want that kind of girl that will, if I tickle her like this, you just don't for the bed. I tickle her like this, you open her two legs. I like the girl that will climb on top of me and ride me like a horse. I say, yeah, daddy. Come on, daddy. It's not, but that kind of a girl, I'll be dead by now. Maybe I'll be in the grave right now. Hmm. So what I want doesn't matter. It is not about what I want. It's about what God wants for me. And what God wants for me is peace to be able to do the ministry I'm doing right now. Because I talk to women mm. all the time. Yes, and that woman will not come and ask me, who are you talking to? Yes, sir. So, sir, mm. um, the, 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 it's a little question I want to ask is that, <clears throat> because um, it's just something I, I just want to know. Now, as a man, how does the leadership come in Number one, then number two, like Thank you. the lady I was talking about, she's always talking about alpha female. Whatever she says she... must stand. If she says something and I bring a counter idea, it is never going to work. And she will yell and shout. And sometimes she will say something, I cannot talk again. Like if before I say A, she will breach me and go from A to Z. She was like a first class lawyer, went to Harvard. So she's very exposed and she's intelligent and very young but you cannot talk you cannot say anything she says she wants it done exactly that way so i could not cope and i left that's a path but how do, how as a man since you we are we are going to i'm going to um, relocate to england soon mm -hmm. and um because um, in saudi arabia here yeah, there's nothing like love they, they just they're the muslim they do their own things in their own way this place is very weird i'm going to the uk soon so now how does the leadership component enter into the marriage if we are, we are both partners, I'm doing this, we are doing this, we are doing this, we are doing this. As the leader of the house, how do you come in, sir, as the leader of your house? Very good. It is not everybody, it's not every woman you meet that will actually follow your leadership. Hmm. A leader must know more than the person following. If hmm. the person following you knows more than you, you can't lead her. <laughs> How about you? How about lawyer? How about you? <laughs> you can't leave that. No, you okay, can't leave sir. That. If it takes you to now okay, upgrade sir. yourself for her to look at mm. you above, mm. a husband is supposed to be 10 steps ahead of the wife. Okay. Yes, sir. It hmm. is not about the baritone voice, it's not about the penis, mm. it's not about the most. Leadership is based not on that, it's based on what you know and what you have. Mm. You see, people follow you based on your achievements. People follow you based mm. on your knowledge. People follow you based on where you are when it comes to standard. All right? So if you marry someone that knows more than you and you believe he's supposed to bow to you, you can't leave them. You can't leave them. Uh, you can't leave them. Because so she, she, kept on saying, she kept on saying that doctors are poor, doctors are broke, blah, blah, blah. You know? Those kind of talk, those Shea, you kind see of what talk. I'm talking about, Dr. Shala? Shea, but Shea, you see I'm what I'm talking what about, about, about this about. thing of money standard? Go and marry standards. your mate. Go and marry people in your class. Everybody's got a class. So when your brain is messing with you and say you want Agbani Darego, ask yourself, can I manage Agbani Darego? Do I have the kind of money to manage Agbani Darego? Can I now lead, can I lead Agbani Darego? You cannot. So leave Agbani Darego alone. Now look at your class. Your own class. There is there are oh. different classes. There are women I could not toast. There are women that I will see, I will respect. I can't toast them. They are not in my class. They are not my league. They are not them. If I marry them, I'm in trouble. If mm. they cannot marry me, they, if they should marry me by force, I'm in trouble. I can't <laughs> leave them. I'm not kidding. That's why I tell you, some of the women that you see in the society, they are good for musicians. They are not good for you. They are good for mm for thugs. They are good for a uh, garage boys. They are not good for you. If you manage to marry those ones, you are in trouble. Mm. You can't mm. hold it. You have to first of all know yourself. Know your capacity and ability.
abilities. If you know your capacity, you're going to actually go beyond your capacity, you're dead. You know your capacity. This is what I could control. This is what I could manage. And then you look for a woman within that range, that's the one you go for. Okay, sir. Hmm. I look at myself in the mirror, I know how I look. I don't fool myself. Sometimes I tell myself, Shola Denzel worshiping. You know, because I am my own Denzel. I am my own Denzel. Other people may not see me to be Denzel. Yes, but I know I'm you know what I'm saying? I do my Denzel in my bathroom, okay? When I come outside, I do my JJ, I go my way. All right. So that's it. Sometimes when I look at myself, I tell myself, Shola Dangote. All right. If my own Dangote is not only a coin's level. But in my mind, I believe that I got the money because I have peace. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're different. Mm. There's different. There's different, different levels of life. Okay, so you can be Shola Idris <laughs> somewhere, but when you go outside, reality is gonna is gonna kick in. You understand? Mm -hmm. that? Uh -uh, I don't get power reach this one. Wait till you don't get power reach. Don't put your mind mm -hmm. into it. Now I understand you're mm -hmm. trying to build a future. You want a woman that is knowledgeable, a money maker, and stuff like that. Good. But the issue is that always think about your ability and your capacity. Your capacity, when you marry within that capacity, you will not cry later down the road. Because later down the road, it's like someone go to church. After going to church for three years and your pastor is not developing, you will tell the pastor, I'm not growing in this church. Why? Because the pastor already poured out everything he knows. And now he's not saying hmm. any new thing anymore. And the next thing is going to you're going to do is to go to a different church where that pastor no more than your former pastor. So that's what will happen to a woman. When you are no longer leading, she will look for a new leader. All right? Because the time will come that your leadership skill will end. You can't lead not such a woman anymore. She's growing too hmm. fast. She's more knowledgeable than you. She's not stagnant. She's actually going, progressing like every day. And then you're going to get angry. And then you start leading based on being a dictator, <laughs> and the day will come she will disconnect herself and go somewhere else. So <laughs> if we think that you can use that dictatorship to control her, you can't lock a woman down. You are only going to frustrate yourself. So, so when you are looking so, for a wife, look around you based on your ability and capacity. You marry, and then the two of you develop together and get to where you guys want to get to. Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. sir. Okay, sir. So, All right, five hundred dollar for your class. This class is five hundred dollars each. Uh, you know, you can't just continue to hold me down. It's almost twelve o'clock. I need to go go and make exactly. some money. Don't pay. Right. Pay. It's fine. So, if you live in South Africa, good luck to you. These two men are living in South Africa, and then... I'm, I'm not. In, I'm not. I'm not in South what? Africa. I'm in Saudi Arabia. No. All right. Okay. All right, that's good. Saudi, Have Saudi. a beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for coming. I need to get out of here real quick uh, so I can go and do something else. All right, guys, so thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I really appreciate that. If you have been blessed, please follow my page. Uh, you have been blessed, please go ahead and follow my page. You can follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube, and follow me here on Instagram by the grace of God. All right, see you guys later by the grace of God. And keep it gospel, love God, love people, love your wife. Help your wife to cook, help your wife to clean, make love to your wife all the time. I'm telling you, your marriage will be at peace. Peace out. See you guys later.